Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. 1 divided by the cube root of 25 plus the cube root of 5 plus 1 is equal to a times the cube root of 25 plus b times the cube root of 5 plus c. If a, b, and c are rational numbers, what is the sum of a, b, and c? I thank Thunmei for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will first present a hint to solve this problem, and then I will go over a solution. First, let's go over the sum and differences of cubes. Construct one cube whose sides are equal to x. This cube has a volume equal to x cubed. Construct another cube whose sides are equal to y. This cube has a volume equal to y cubed. x cubed minus y cubed will be the difference in volumes of these cubes. One way to express this volume is x cubed minus y cubed. The other way is to look at the volume that remains from the larger cube when we subtract the volume of the smaller cube. We can calculate this volume by looking at the sum of three different cuboids. One cuboid has dimensions of x, x, and x minus y. This will have a volume that's equal to x minus y, the quantity, multiplied by x squared. Another will have dimensions that are equal to y, x, and x minus y. This will have a volume that's equal to xy multiplied by the quantity x minus y. And a third will have dimensions that are equal to y, x minus y, and y. The volume of this is equal to y squared multiplied by x minus y. So we have two ways to represent the volume that remains when we take the large cube minus the small cube. Thus, these two volumes are equal. We now look at this algebraic formula. Let's simplify it. The three terms on the right-hand side each have a factor of x minus y, so we can factor it out. We thus simplify this formula, and we get x cubed minus y cubed is equal to the factor x minus y multiplied by the factor x squared plus xy plus y squared. For completeness, I'll mention we can also get the sum of cubes formula from this. We will make this substitution that y is equal to negative z. We substitute this in, and then we will carefully simplify. The result will be the sum of cubes formula, that x cubed plus z cubed is equal to the factor x plus z multiplied by the factor x squared minus xz plus z squared. Now let's solve the problem. 1 divided by the cube root of 25 plus the cube root of 5 plus 1 is equal to 1 divided by the cube root of 5 squared plus the cube root of 5 plus 1. Let x equal the cube root of 5. The denominator then becomes x squared plus x plus 1. Now this factor in the denominator is reminiscent of the factor in the difference of cubes. Suppose y is equal to 1. One factor becomes x squared plus x plus 1, and the other factor is x minus 1. The product of these two factors is equal to x cubed minus 1. If we substitute x is equal to the cube root of 5, then x cubed is equal to 5. Then 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. From here, we can see that we can rationalize the denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the factor x minus 1. This is the rationalizing factor. The denominator then is equal to 4, and the numerator is equal to x minus 1. So simplifying, we get x minus 1 all over 4. We divide through by 4 to get 1 fourth x minus 1 over 4. Then x is equal to the cube root of 5, so we get 1 over 4 multiplied by the cube root of 5 
minus 1 over 4. We now equate this to the original equation a multiplied by the cube root of 25 plus b multiplied by the cube root of 5 plus c. We can then equate coefficients to get that a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1 over 4, and c is equal to negative 1 over 4. Thus, a plus b plus c is equal to 0. And that's the answer. I want to end the video with a little bit of extra credit. Suppose 1 divided by the 4th root of 27 plus the 4th root of 9 plus the 4th root of 3 plus 1 is equal to a multiplied by the 4th root of 27 plus b multiplied by the 4th root of 9 plus c multiplied by the 4th root of 3 plus d. If a, b, c, and d are rational numbers, what is the sum of a, b, c, and d? I'll post an answer in the comments. Give it a try. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.